today we are going to take a closer look at how to smooth 3D print. There really are only two main methods that you can use to smooth 3D prints. One is by using some chemical to smooth the surface and the other is by sanding the piece. In this video I will show you how to use both methods and I will also tell you the upsides and downsides to both of these methods. We will start with the classics, which is ABS and acetone. This is a really well-known method for smoothing 3D prints. You basically use the acetone to melt the top surface, so the top layers of the 3D print of the ABS, which will effectively smoothen it. All you need for this method is the 3D print uh, printed with ABS. You will also need a container where you can put um, the whole print in. So it has to be big enough to fit the print and you will obviously need acetone. The most important part here is the container. It has to have a lid. So you need a container that has a lid and needs to be closed. And you also need to check what material your container is made out of. So especially if the container is made out of plastic, you have to check which plastic. In my case, it was PP, which stands for polypropylene and that does not react with acetone, so I was fine. If you don't know what kind of plastic your container is made out of, you can easily check that. There is usually a little triangle somewhere imprinted on the plastic that will tell you what kind of plastic it is. So here you can see it says PP, which stands for polypropylene. And then all you have to do is you have to Google polypropylene and if it does react with acetone or not, and if it doesn't, you are good to go. The first thing you need to do is you have to build something that will suspend the model above the acetone. So you can either hang it with some wire and um, a metal mesh, for example, which is pretty much the best method. Or you can do what I did, which is search for some scrap metal in your workshop and build a little bridge that basically suspends the model um, over the acetone. Next, you just have to place the model on your suspension and then fill in some acetone. You don't need much acetone for this to work. It's literally enough if you have like half a inch or one centimeter on the bottom and it will work just fine. Now close the container and leave it there for a couple of minutes. So usually it's enough to have it in there for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes tops. But I wanted to show just how much work the acetone does when it has time to react with the ABS. So I left it in there for close to an hour. You can see when I took it out, it's literally almost liquid. Like you can see the, the surface is tacky and um, I can deform it with my fingers, my bare hands. And I can also cut pieces off of it with a regular scissors. So it's that soft when it has reacted with the ABS for a longer time. And don't worry, the print will get rigid again. It will get as hard as it was when you printed it. So this, basically the state is only temporary. And if we take a closer look at the print, you can also see that it basically is as smooth as it can get. It also got shiny. This is a side effect when you melt ABS with acetone, it gets sort of shiny. And the print will stay like this, by the way. It won't go mad again. It will stay this shiny. And if we look at a comparison, the print before we smoothed it with acetone and the print after we smoothed it, you can see that we lost quite a bit of surface detail. This is normal because we are basically melting the top layer of the print to make it smooth. And in that process, we are losing a bit of detail. Now, in this example, you can see we lost quite a bit of detail, but that is also because I left the print in there for way longer than it actually had to be in there. So if you only leave it in there for like 15 to 20 minutes, it won't lose nearly as much detail as I lost here. And by the way, you can also reuse the acetone. So you can just filter the left acetone in the container and fill it back into its container. Now, when it comes to smoothing 3D prints with chemicals, this is probably the most well-known method, like smoothing ABS with acetone. But there are other methods that you can use to smooth other 3D prints. For example, there is PVB, which is also a kind of plastic, and that can be smoothed with isopropyl alcohol, which is actually a much better way to smooth 3D prints than using acetone and ABS because the reaction is much slower, so you can control it much better. But 
PVB is also very expensive, so it's much more expensive than ABS is. PVB is also often not sold as PVB, but as, for example, Fiverr Smooth or Polysmooth. The big upside to PVB compared to ABS is that PVB is very easy to print. So it's almost as easy to print as PLA and you don't need an enclosure. But when you want to print ABS, you usually need an enclosure to get good results. There is also a way to chemically smooth PLA, but I absolutely don't recommend it because it requires a sort of chemical that is very aggressive and I don't recommend that at all. So when it comes to smoothing PLA, there really only is one good method, which is smoothing it by sanding it, really. And it's also my favorite method, to believe it or not, because there are some shortcuts you can use to easily sand PLA and um, basically save you a lot of time. For this example, I printed the ornamental Pokeball by Scattered Collectibles in PLA. This model has a lot of very intricate design, so it's perfect for this demonstration. Also, whenever I print something with the intention of sanding and painting it later on, I will use the ugliest PLA I can find. In this instance, it's a random gray, like a really ugly gray PLA. Once the print is done, the first thing we have to do is remove any support material or any strings that are left over from the printing process. And once we are done with that, we will get to the first trick that will actually speed up this whole sanding process significantly, which is I use some spray on spatula. You can usually find the stuff in your local hardware store in the car section. It's usually where all the car paint is. And this stuff is amazing because all you have to do is you have to shake it well, go outside, which is important. You don't want to spray this stuff inside and only spray this in a well ventilated area. So go outside and simply apply the spatula directly on the PLA. Once that is done, let it dry. You can see that the spatula is very evenly applied on the whole surface of the print. This is exactly what we want because the spatula is much easier to sand than the PLA itself. So all we have to do now is we use some sandpaper and then we sand over the whole surface. The spatula is very easy to sand away and you can quickly see that we only remove the spatula on the high spots. So it will fill in all of these little imperfections on the surface, including all of the layer lines. If you still, after sanding, see some imperfections on the surface, you can either reapply some of the spatula in this specific area and then resand it, or you can use some other spatula, some spatula out of a tube, for example, to fill in rough imperfections. In this instance, though, I didn't have to do any of that. This method of applying a spray primer and then sanding the whole surface, by the way, works for pretty much any plastic including ABS, PLA, PETG, and so on. The biggest downside to this method really is that you have to paint your 3D model afterwards. It will look very ugly once you are done, so you will have to paint it. You can either directly paint it with a paint that sticks to plastic, or you can apply a primer, which is what I did here, and then paint it with, for example, acrylic paints. A primer, by the way, for those of you who don't know, is a type of paint that can be applied to a surface and it will basically prepare the surface to be painted with a different type of paint that would usually not stick to that surface. So in this instance, acrylic paint would usually not stick to PLA plastic, but because I applied a primer before I applied the acrylic paint, the paint will now stick to the surface and it will not come off. And here we can see the before and the after. You can clearly see that after sanding and applying the spray on spatula, the surface is much smoother than before. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there are only really two main methods for smoothing 3D prints. That wasn't quite correct because there is actually a third method which involves using epoxy resin to smooth the surface of a print. You basically mix some liquid epoxy resin and then apply it with a old brush all over the print. This will fill in any gaps or imperfections and once the resin is cured it will be as hard as a rock. After that you can either leave it as it is or you can apply a primer and then paint the whole thing. 
I personally don't really like this method because it's very time consuming and all of the other methods I mentioned in this video are much easier, much faster to do. But I still wanted to mention this method just so that you know that it exists and if you ever need to use it, now you know how. Also, let me know, did I miss any methods? Are there any methods you are using that are way more effective than anything I showed in this video or simply not smoothing your prints at all?